How do I know who is who in the matrix? How do I know who the Agent Smiths are and the woman in the red dress? How do I know those that are here to keep me attached to this illusion so I can continually reincarnate over and over again and be enslaved to those that <laughs> are inheriting um, control. So the matrix, again, when you think about the matrix, I need you to really understand that it's not a movie. It's not a movie, okay? It was pushed out as a movie so that you would think that it was a fictional movie. <laughs> but it's really what we're in. Some of it has, you know, been modified to look a little different and to, you know, because of creative genius. But, like, we don't pop in and out the way that they pop in and out and things of that nature. But we do pop in and out mentally. And so we need to understand that this is a real situation and it's our reality. Now, if you want to know who is who, you got to look at who's benefiting off of keeping you attached to the illusion. Who is benefiting off of you thinking that politics is real? Who is benefiting off of you thinking that the financial system is real? Who's benefiting off of you thinking that the entertainment industry is real? Professional sports is real. Education is real. The educational system is real. All these different factions, military, these are all categories where ego thrives. You understand? These are all categories where ego thrives. The religion, organized religion is real. These are all these choices that you have you know, um, to partake in. You basically are picking your poison. Okay. And so when you know that it's all based on ego, this is the land of the ego. This is Satan's world, Shatan, the ego, not some character that's following you around and, you know, trying to tempt you to do this and tempt you to do that and blah, blah, blah. When they say the devil is busy, you're right. It's your ego that's busy. It's your ego that's busy. Because that's the only voice that has access to your mind. Okay? To your energy. To influence you. So anything coming in is coming through the ego. Some part of the ego, whether it's a dark part, light part, whatever, okay? The thing is, we have to look at those individuals who are benefiting off of keeping us attached to the illusion. To keep us focused on, you know, the political games, you know, the entertainment industry, you know, this star, that star, this celeb, that celeb. If they're benefiting off of the matrix, look at who has a lot of influence in the matrix. That's how, how you know who is who. Because anybody that's here that's not pointing you to getting more and more attached to the illusion, they're not going to allow them to have too much influence within their control. Because again, it's not about right and wrong. It's about control. So stop looking at what these celebrities are doing as this is right, this is wrong. We have soul contracts here. These people have entered into soul contracts. Okay? Where they are under contractual obligation to push and support 
and represent specific things. If they don't represent what it is that they're in contract for, then the situation ends the way that they decide for it to end. It's not about selling out to the white man. Okay? It's not about selling out to the white man. It's about selling to your ego, the devil. And those are there to facilitate how big you want to use, how much of your ego are you willing to use, how much of the devil in you are you willing to use to keep people enslaved into this reality. So it's important to realize that when you're looking at who is who and you have to decide, okay, I'm looking at this celebrity, I'm looking at that celebrity. Let me see, are they promoting things that are for my higher nature or are they promoting things that are matrix related? Like, are they doing things that is keeping me attached to this reality? Are they stimulating my egoic nature or are they helping me reach my higher nature? And that's how you know who is who. So pay close attention, you know, stop putting people up on pedestals because they got a certain amount of money or they got a certain amount of influence or they got a certain amount of limelight because you don't know what they gave up or what they gave to get that limelight, to get that influence, to get that positioning. You're going to have influence over millions of minds. <laughs> then that means that you are held to a higher level of accountability and there's certain things that you have to do to benefit this reality because this reality is taking care of you. So we could use your ego to expand the message because our our focus is, you know, keeping people coming back here so that we can continually inherit someone to bow to us, someone to be enslaved to us because they know that this is not it. They know that there's more. So they're preparing for their next life right now by the way that they affect our life. You understand? And that's something that comes back. So you you can easily tell who is who if you're looking with an open eye. Don't be putting these people up on a pedestal and be willing to follow whatever it is that they say. You have to go within and consult with the spirit of truth and let your higher nature give you the solution on what it is that you need to do and not do. Especially taking advice from people that you know are just simply here to get you more and more entrapped, chasing money and things like that because those are debt notes. And so the more debt notes that you have, the more debt you owe. That's what we don't understand. These people having all of these debt notes, access to all of these debt notes, the more that they have, the more that they owe. How are they going to pay it? The essence of who they are. That's how they're going to pay it. Okay? All right. Just wanted to drop that. Y'all take care. Peace.